because <laughs> whenever I draw um conditional, that kind of takes care of that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how can I put this on my channel? Or do we can I not do that at the same time? Yeah. Um just start a broadcast on your channel. We should You should be able to start a broadcast on your channel and it, it should pick up the same Google Hangouts. If you want to um, start a broadcast, but don't start it live, just start it as um, an event. Yeah, just do a private, do an event and do it private and just stay on this Google Hangout, see what happens. And then if in the private, you can hear me and stuff, then you know you can go live on your channel as well. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, it always wants to bring up that beta version. It won't bring up the old version. The old version is the only way I know how to make it work. Right, right. No, no, no. Go into the beta in the bottom left corner. It's yeah, like yeah. Return, I, I, return I turn to it classic. Off, but every time I go back to it, it's always on. Yeah. They're trying to force it on people and they haven't finished putting it together yet. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy that YouTube, I have to go like back two steps. To um, to get that going. You know how not to get it, Josh. No, use old, I, you no. use old Internet Explorer, and it won't go to that. Well, <laughs> I, I can't get Internet Explorer to work with with this. It tells yeah. me you have to use Chrome. Yeah, it, oh. it it does tell you you have to use Chrome. Never mind. <laughs> oh, hey, Risey Lee, how you doing? Wasn't I? I thought everybody was gonna be on Ethan's channel today he, since he started streaming. But I appreciate you. Oh man, that's my brother going to sleep. All right, brother, I appreciate you, man. I'll, I'll I'll get you something drawn up, and um, hey, I'll get you something drawn up, brother, and we'll see what we could do. Get your new logo for your business, or maybe for for your card or something. Awesome. What are you playing with there, Jimmy? This is a needed eraser. That's cool. What happens with these is they don't leave eraser shavings. So if you see me erasing, you see there's no shavings. If I use this one, then I got shavings. And it means if I leave shavings, that means I got a vacuum. <laughs> 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 no shavings means I don't have to vacuum. And uh, shavings mean... All right, brother. Good night. Shaving means I have to vacuum after I do this. And we used to get out so late, I don't want to start doing that. Yeah, I don't think it'll let you do two at the same time. It t tells me that the Google Hangout's already open. Yeah, no, you stay on this Google Hangout. You don't open a new one. It should, it should pick up this Google Hangouts on your stream as well. I don't think so. Oh, it's not doing it? I don't think so. Oh, damn it, man. It I'm already... I'm already on there and it tells me either to close the old call or go to the go to my go back to the old call we'll go back to the old call that's what i'm in all right then and you still can't hear yourself over there no i just I'm i'll not go right. check your channel yeah go check his channel see if it's if it's if it's broadcasting because what up mr true yes i am lazy no it's not that is that when we get out so late i don't want to wake up the wife uh vacuuming that's why i use the non the non uh Shaving, erase the needed eraser. No, I'm thinking about it, Josh. I don't know your channel. Oh yeah, it's Josh Chris dot art. <laughs> yes, I think so. I've been having some problems with. Yeah. That. Now you got three subscribers. Yeah. And you are not live. Oh yeah, tell them to go live and see what happens. Go live, Josh. I, I don't know how to press the button. Oh, um, hey, how about this? Instead of doing that, it says it says to go live. Close the event. Close the event. Close close the event. Right, and then um, open up a go back to your YouTube channel on the upper right hand corner. There's a camera. Click on that camera, and that should bring that should take you straight live. Doom, 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 doom. Barbara Ann. 
you would think that 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 you know this would be a lot simpler. Now I've been told that um Streamlabs is better for this. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't either, but that's what I've been told. But anybody do you see my screen? Do you yeah. remember using that stuff when you was drafting? Um I used to use it all the time. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's like a, one, it's like a grit, grit you sprinkle over top of your drawing so right. that your arm doesn't smear or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elliot Fernandez uses that. Uh, a little secret I use too is also use that to clean up comic book covers. Mm -hmm. If you're real light with it, you can take off a lot of the dirt. Yeah. Yeah, you know, without affecting the book. Yeah. Indeed. What about yeah, the uh, only problem with doing it this way is our chats will be separate, won't they? Yeah, I can't see yes. your chat. You'll be streaming on yours. They should still be able to hear the the conversation, but you're gonna have to keep up with your own chat window. At least I think that's the way it works. Or I don't know. Yep. I just said, uh, says Josh is scheduled to go live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But when Josh goes live, we'll we'll figure it out. I'm live. You live? Yeah. Cause he is. He is? Mm -hmm. Cause he is, but it's not letting me into this live. Huh. I guess because I already got too many open. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You should be able to do it. I'll go to his channel right now. Yeah, it says he's live. Boom. I clicked on him. Drawing with Jimmy. Click. There he is. He's live. I can see him. Now, I don't know. Let me. I hate doing this because, yep, I can see his arms. And I can hear myself on his channel. Yeah, it's it's going through. It's the channels, the, the voices and stuff are going through just fine, so... Yeah. So yeah, he's good. I'm gonna give him a like. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna shut yours down because I can see you um, over on mine. So um, and it and it, it's less stressful for me because I'm hearing myself on all the channels now. I'll see how it is. Just leave me. Oh man, come on, man. <laughs> I, I gotta i gotta keep an eye out on the google hangout to see what you're doing because that's that's real live and then of course i gotta keep an eye on the chat to see what's hey, going on I have, I have both my windows open to where i can see both our chats but you know what i don't even have to worry yeah, you, about that because i gotta do the pop-out chat man and then you don't I have got, to look at your youtube page yeah so i got bitbiter anyway as my mod yeah and i only I'm have one monitor, monitor. So. Ooh, yeah, I got one monitor too because I have to disconnect. I can't have the other monitor here unless I go digital. <laughs> hey Ray, how you doing tonight? So if I if I go digital, then maybe John Dillard on the house. John Dillard actually visited me. No, no, that's pro level artist right there, man. I don't know. He's slumming tonight, coming down here with us, uh, with us uh, young folks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's that's a pro level guy right there. That's uh pretty nice, man. I appreciate y'all supporting a, a young starving artist. Actually, I'm not young or starving, but it sounded good. I might be starving. Things don't work out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's something funky going on with this headshot. That's something. And I left my blue line pencil at the office. So I'm actually doing a pencil holder. It's usually not my for us to get connected. Not my strong suit. Yeah. So John, what uh John Dillard, what are you working on today? 
You still working on uh on that ninja comic? It's always a lag. I got some people watching this. Hey, more people have watched this mishap than they watched anything else. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this mishap, people actually tune in. Anything else I've ever done is always being me. And and uh Bitbiter0101 on the stream. Now I got Josh, but Josh is streaming on his side. He's trying to get his trying to get his channel going. So if y'all um wanna go give him a give him a sub. I don't, yeah, but you can't can you see my screen at all, Jimmy? Since we're still in the Google Hangout. Um no, actually. You can't because I can still see you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I can see you. When you okay. talk, when I talk, okay, yeah, you're yeah. Doing that, you're doing that weird thing with the talking part, okay. I can look at it. I can lock it in. Are you? I mean, you you want me to go to your channel while I'm on my channel? Oh, my look at both channels. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. At the same time. All right, John. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate it. See, Rizy Lee says that they're watching. Uh, he or she is watching both streams. Look at that, Josh. See? You're going to be famous, dude, man. You're a way better artist than me. So it's going to be a matter of time when people just be like, yo, man, forget about forget about Jimmy's stream, man. We're just going to go mess with Josh. I haven't even got the sketch anything yet. Just still trying to figure out how the heck to get all this moving. Dude, just. Draw in very slow motion. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> well, I'm just going to leave the uh, Black Panther up there. <laughs> Make sure I get things going. Oh, you could just lock it on your... Um, You could just lock it on your side over there. So when I talk, it doesn't switch to mine. So you can... um. Oh, no, because we're using the same thing. Never mind. I don't know if you could lock it on yours. Ooh. That's interesting. I didn't think about that. What? Can you can you lock yours on your screen just to be you? Mine's just looking at me because the stream for me is going through my my stream. All right, cool, 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 cool. But on my side, I get both you and me. Yeah, you get both. Yeah, it's because I love you, guy. <laughs> my buddy just put on there. He goes, "You make blank pa paper look sexy." <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some people have that Midas touch, you know, and 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 Josh, you know, you you have that Midas touch. You can just make anything look sexy. Oh. You know, and you can make anything look sexy. But I need you to look. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out, man. I'm not liking the um. I don't. I can't figure out how to set this camera up in a position where, because being left-handed sucks. If I put the camera to the side, you'll get kind of like a side shot. So it looks like I'm drawing sideways. I'm drawing this guy. Oh, John is an actual work. Oh, that's right. You work nights. I forgot. So that means I can stream around this time and uh, driving the big rig around and texting. Not good. Not good. Hey, uh, psychology nerd. How you doing? I appreciate the shout out on, on Twitter on the artwork. It's very nice of you. And now that I got y'all's attention, if y'all get... um. Let me see if I can get his channel. His uh, channel is joshchris.art. But if y'all can give him a shout out, go in there, sub to him. He does really good work. Um, heck, he just he just got published by Tops. How many how many cards did you? Uh, uh, upper deck. Upper deck. There you go. I did 30, uh, 30 sketch cards uh, this last go around, and the time before that was ninety. That's his channel. 
if y'all want to go give them what am i drawing uh yeah i don't know um <laughs> it started out as colossus but now it looks like james dean so <laughs> Actually, it actually looks more like me than it looks like Colossus. For some reason, I keep drawing myself in every uh, picture. I must be a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with me. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But then Josh and I decided to stream at the same time on our separate channels. And got everybody confused. But he's got to build this channel. And I, I don't mind. I've been plateaued. I think I plateaued at where I'm at. It's just like 68 subs. Barely what? You can barely hear Jimmy. I don't know what to tell you on that one. Oh, you can't hear me? Who's that? Who can't hear? They're they're on my they're on my stream. They're they're saying they can barely hear Jimmy. And I'm like, oh well, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. You, so. Well, that's because we're doing duels. I mean, and you go to Jimmy's channel. No, don't do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got his boys over there giving him love. Don't do that to the man. The man is the man. You know, you know they don't they don't came here to hear me anyway. I'm just the old Reekin trying to get by. The old Reekin. Trying to get by in life, you know? <clears throat> I think I gave Colossus like a five head. So what I did today, because I was like, uh, you know, like, man, you know, I decided to go on YouTube live and start streaming there. See if I can bring people over here. Oh, well, get in there and talk to him real quick if you want. Let him know I'm on the YouTubes. Uh-oh. My youngest, younger brother um, just invited me to an Xbox party. Because my wife's playing Xbox right now. Yeah. You, you, mean, you mean my daughter? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yesterday we were streaming, and uh, well, no, day before yesterday we were streaming. He tells me his uh, his wife's age, and uh, and and she's practically barely old enough not to be my kid, like by a couple oh, of wow. years. Like she could have been one of my kids. Well, I got one for you. My ex girlfriend, when I met her mom, ends up her mom's only three years older than me. What? Yeah. <laughs> A little weird. Yeah, John Dillard. I believe it or not. Yeah, I'm over here um uh, bobbing and weaving like I was still boxing between the dog on camera and the paper. <laughs> Cause this this is terrible, man. I might just break out the tablet and go back to digital and call it a day. <laughs> Cause, cause, wow! And last time I tried to do that, I was coloring a piece, and um, and that was, and I had it on the side, so all you saw was like the side shot. It was like this, and you see if this catches up. Mm. Yeah, so that's what I had. I didn't think it looked pretty cool. I don't know, Josh. What do you think? Uh, hey, let me take a look. Well, take a look, man. You're supposed to be helping me improve my Skittles. Man, I'm drawing myself. I know. I know. You're trying to build your channel. <laughs> I got you. I ain't worried about the channel. I'm just trying to figure out this body. I'm like, uh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? I don't know, bro. If you don't know, I don't know. I mean, other than the, the, the eyes just being a little off, it's not bad. Yeah, and I know, and I can't figure out how to line them jokers up. Oh, I keep looking at them. I keep looking at them, looking at them, looking at them. I figure it out. I keep playing around. 
I might just put an eye patch on one of them, call it a day. Would that be cheating if I give him an eye patch? Does Colossus Pirate have an eye Colossus. patch? <laughs> Pirate Colossus. Arg. Arg. In Mother Russia, we do not do pirates. You know, we don't do pirates. Oh man, my actual daughter like my uh my you my Facebook uh, stream. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about <laughs> some people still love me. What's that? Drawing with Josh, and Josh is so. So I'm drawing with Josh, and then Josh is drawing with Jimmy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. There you go, man. See, and before we did this, uh, all we did was play Xbox. <clears throat> yeah. wonder what happened. I think Xbox was a lot more fun. I thought... Um, there's supposed to be some other streams going on. I didn't really plan properly for this. You know me. Oh, man, Josh's stuff is looking good. I've seen it on my iPhone. Ooh, sexy. Huh. So, you know, the reason I decided to try to do a Colossus headshot is because I didn't want Josh asking me, well, what should we draw today? Pick a character, Jimmy. Pick a character. But I don't know what character to pick. Then he picks a freaking... No, he picked he picked a Marvel character. Never mind. Yeah, we picked Black Panther. Yeah, that Black Panther of mine is... It's, it, it's, it's decrepit. He's not wow. feeling good. I think he's still sick. That way everyone can see it. That's the Black Panther I did live with Jimmy. And I was not liking that. So the next day, I did that one. And that was still pretty good, man. Say, look at that. You're showing out, man. You're showing out. You're showing out. <laughs> Just wish I had done this one live. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, but you probably did that at, at work. <laughs> Shh, don't talk about that. <laughs> Work. What's that? <laughs> That's that place we go for eight hours and wait to come back home. I didn't even go to work today because I stayed home taking care of uh, my, my daughter because our son is still sick. And today he went up to 104 temperature. Wow. And took him uh, back to the doctor and saying, Look, the meds and stuff you got him on, it's not doing anything. And um, he stressed, he, he, he tested negative for flu and something else. Mono. Mono. He, he tested negative for those. But if you look down his throat, his tonsils are almost touching each other. Yeah, we need to talk to your wow. wife. She, she knows the deal. She's over there correcting you in the background. Like, yo, That's right. you, you're messing this up, kid. I wonder if the problem with the eyes is that it is too far away. I think that's what it is because of the angle that I'm looking at. <laughs> Pay where you kill me. No, I'm not even worried about that. Let's just give me a shadow. Hmm. <clears throat> so, Bitbiter. Mm -hmm. what, what comics are coming out? There's a lot coming out. Mm -hmm. Actually, you just caught me in the middle of posting up the releases for next week. Yeah, I was look. I was I was watching you type. Don't forget uh, free comics. <laughs> yeah, that's a a reminder I'm making to schedule for next Tuesday. 
Um, heck, I'll have to pull that list back up. And there's a lot coming out. In case y'all don't know, Bitbiter, he uh, he temps or works at a comic shop. Yeah, a little volunteer work. So that's why I'm asking him these questions. You got to keep our uh, local comic shops open. There's not many left. Yeah. Matter of fact, it was uh, he's the one that found me. Uh, what is it? The first three issues of Cyber Frog? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, the second volume, uh, the first one is a little hard to get a hold of. Right. But well, anyway. Unless you want to spend major bucks on eBay. No, they were talking about seven hundred dollars for that. Uh, I don't remember what the last prices were. I'm not say nope. I'm not doing that. I'll pay a couple of bucks. Troopy taught. Uh, Bitbiter just gave them to me, so I didn't even pay a couple of bucks. Don't tell Ethan, though. Don't tell Ethan that I didn't support his original work. Let's keep hmm. that between us, okay? I'm going to pop my camera on and show you some books, but uh, didn't see anyone come up. <laughs> all, us, uh, all us tech people, and we can't get nothing working. This is different, man, because it's Google. Google is something else, man. Uh, I can find another way to do it. Da, 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 da. I need to get a bigger needle eraser. Actually, this is one of the few times that I, well, besides the other time I drew with Josh, one of the few times I've actually tried to draw anything live. I normally uh, go on OBS and draw there and then uh, post a time lapse video. And I haven't done that in a while either. So I told myself, because now that Josh is fully operational, Josh 1.0. Then we would try to draw something. Everybody's really quiet in the chat. I like it to let me concentrate because they know I need all the help. <clears throat> I want to come take a look again. All right, take a look and let me know what that what the eyeball is looking like. Cause I'm having a I'm just going to put an eye patch on him. Say he suffered a horrible accident. He suffered a, a horrible accident? Yes. It's not Captain Planet. <laughs> we can make him be whatever. whatever. Once again, my camera is all backwards. So. Is that Emma Frost that I see on your screen? I was putting it up to make Josh a little jealous. Whoa. Oh. Nice. Oh. Man, yeah, I am jealous. That's a that's Scott J. Campbell, baby. Yeah. yeah. Rice Lee said they got you. Um, there's the book I picked up for you, Josh. And who's the artist of that one? Is it Redman? On the Arachnoid? Yeah. Uh, I don't know who did the cover. Let me open it up and look. All right, go back to my screen. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here <laughs> drooling on that record. Uh, it's got Jake Campbell. It's Humberto Ramos. Is who? Humberto. Um, I can't say his name. You know it is. It's Ramos. Oh. Humberto Ramos? Yeah. Sweet. Look, people, it's Umberto Ramos. Come on, man. I need y'all to work with me. <laughs> I'm a little redneck, man. I can't help it. <laughs> I know, I know. They call Humberto. You know, it's Umberto. Umberto Ramos. Listen, you keep rolling that R over there. Ramos. You got to say Ruffles have riches. Keep your heart out on that one. <laughs> Hold on. Let me come back. I say what? Oh, is that? 
That is the uh, Walking Dead version. Uh, I forget the girl's name. Michonne. Michonne. And Jay Scott Campbell. That's sexy. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna I'm that gonna was, lock it on. So that was lock it on. Of, uh, glam bags. Uh, they had the glam bag reprints, and then right. every every so often you could get a virgin color cover or a black and white one. So there's wow. there's actually three other books to go with this one that he did. So Rice Lee says nice Michonne. Uh -huh. Hot. <laughs> Rice Lee says Michonne is hot. Alpha Foxtrot. I'm not saying what it means. Y'all can figure this out on your own. <laughs> it's locked on you, Philip. So anything you want to push, post, and talk about, go for it. I don't have a lot of a lot of other good stuff. Uh, since you mentioned Black Panther, though, there's you one to look at. All right. I'm waiting for it to catch up on. Boom. Nice. See the artist on that is Max Lim. Yeah. Nice. I like that angle they got Black Panther in. It's pretty cool. Show it to uh Josh so Josh can fix his angle. Hold on, I'm I'm yeah, let me look at it later. I'm, I'm yeah. just trying to draw some. And every time I go look at your old stuff, that, that no one can see me looking at your stuff. <laughs> That's true. Could show some blue mambas and make it her channel shut down. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't show that one. <laughs> that was mature. For, that's for mature audiences only. As a matter of fact, I gotta mail you the other copies uh, tomorrow, so you probably get them by Monday. And this is the only other cool one I picked up. The Lady Mechanica sketch cover from a. Uh, What's you pronounce his last name for me, Jimmy? Joe Benitez? Benitez. Yes. Jose Benitez. Fajitas? Benitez. Don't call him fajitas, man. Benitez? <laughs> fajitas is a food, bro. Come on, man. Show some I respect. What, I, I don't know what you're saying over there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. Put your wife on. You just... <laughs> You she just draw that like bridge in two. That's about all as far as it gets. <laughs> Let her talk, you draw. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that is nice. That's about all I got nude right now. All right. I'm going to put it. Anything gonna, normal. I'm going to put it back to everybody talking, as showing and talking. Showing and talking. I'm out of I'm out of uh, sketch paper, so I gotta go. I gotta go by the store <clears throat> and buy some sketch paper. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. This this is cool though. At least now, um, Josh can draw on his channel. Have his have his peeps look at him. I can come here. Yeah, I hope I'll be back to making videos on my channel here shortly. Yeah, you need to, man. And we still got to get that um, go on your channel, and do those reviews for them books. True. I forgot about that, bro. I actually I mean, got to finish Iron Sights. You finished it? No, I have to still finish it. I still got about ten pages. Dude, how? How are you still not finished with that? Uh, just say I wasn't real pleased with it, to be honest. All right. We'll say that for the review. Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was okay. That's but kind we'll, of the same way I was. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, but we'll talk about Reading the review. But no, no, we'll we'll go. <laughs> we'll wait for the review. We'll wait for the review. <laughs> yeah, because we got a, another book to go along with it. Yeah, I'm waiting for my black and red to come in. Uh, uh, as, a matter of, as a matter of fact, my wife asked me about that. Like, yo, uh, Josh got to see it. Huh? So Josh got to see it. No, nope, it, no, because um, because when we did the black and red, um, Elliot 
I did the commission uh, piece. So Elliot was drawing the commission live. Whoa, Mindy Wheeler is on. She's up and running too. Pretty cool. There's a lot of people on tonight. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, so um, what's his name? He did he did um, a storm for me. I think I showed it to the to the chat to you guys. No, I saw, I showed it to Josh. So that means it should be on this thread right here. Josh and I exchange a lot of drawings, so hold on. Josh is like my uh, the maestro capoeira. No habla español. That was that's not that's not Spanish. That, that's Portuguese. <laughs> I, need, I need you to I need you to get get your stuff together, brother. I need you to speak the English. <laughs> I do, man. I speak very good English sometimes. Keep going back to the, to the Portuguese or whatever. I'm like I don't know what you're saying. Oh man, look, man, it's Spanish. Oh, that's that's why I was in the wrong chatter, in the wrong chat. Let me see if I can find it. Boom! I don't know if y'all gonna be. Able, let me see if I can find the camera angle for this. Um, let me go on the hangouts because that'll let me know quicker. Aha! Can't. There you go. So that's what I'm waiting on. And I got it. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So that's what I'm waiting on. And uh that's that's for the that's for the spouse for putting up with all my streams and being on the a bunch of them in the book. Say again? I said that looked better than a bunch of them in the actual book. Yeah, that's an actual commission piece, so I would I would hope it would look pretty decent. He did a good job. He did it live. I was I was watching while he did it. Nice. You know, so I was like, yes. Cause I was on the stream. I was like, yo, do the do the storm, do the storm. That's what I want. Should I do that? The scaled neck. With a smooth face, aka the Deadpool 2. Hmm. Yeah, this paper is about to tear up in a minute if I don't figure out how <laughs> what the heck is wrong with this <laughs> this ojo because this is not good paper. And again, I'm making the, the cardinal sin of not having reference. This is crazy, though. I hope you all draw on the same thing. I know it's cool though, right? I mean, oh, has he, has Jimmy looked at it? I didn't know if he looked at it. Well, you've made a few noises and it keeps popping up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It pops up when you talk or when you cough or breathe. You know, oh, you're going to cough. And, and you see, and this is why I hate Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I was minding my own business, you know, drawing a headshot of Colossus. And then he has to draw better colossus. And I'm done. I'm done for the night. I'm ladies, oh, and Jimmy, come on, man. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining ERT Hearts. This was your host, Jimmy. I appreciate y'all for supporting me in this great evening, and I wish y'all the best. Of no, I'm just kidding. I gotta put some inks on this. I hate Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate him. I think it's the hair, Jimmy. Say again? And I think it's the hair. Yeah. You got a little kid and play going on. Yeah. 
I do that sometimes. Let me see. What do you? Let me look at Josh's. Maybe I should make his hair smaller. Should I bring the the brown line, the hairline down? All right. Let me look. Like the top of his head needs to come down. Just or the top of the hairline needs to come down a hair. So like about here. I don't know. That makes you look taller. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about the top top? Yeah, I'm talking about the top. So he's just trying to like barely have any head, any hair. Well, the top of his head is real flat. You know, but this is what happened is, uh, since I'm not using a reference, I told you I wound up drawing me. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing I know how to, if, if there's one head shape and one face that I know is my ugly mug, I look at it every day. <laughs> Cracking me up, man. Uh, I mean, you got to be entertaining, right? Or people are just meander off. Be like, oh, no, we don't like them anymore. You got to be entertaining, man. Even if, if it's a little self-deprecating humor. I'm getting... Oh. John, game is all right, I guess. Graphics are a little pixelated and the story seems poorly written. So John does not like Red Dead 2. I'm shutting off Facebook. Otherwise, John will continue to bang in my ear. Yeah. he be like, ba-ding, ba-ding, ba-ding. Wait, John doesn't like Red Dead? That's what he said, brother. He said this, this game is pixelated. It's probably his interwebs. You know, he's he got, he got them old um, 1950s. Did he get the 1X, by the way? Say what now? Did he get the 1X? Yeah, he's got the 1X. Yeah, I still haven't got the 1X. Well, here's the thing, right? I got the 1X, but I don't have a 4K TV. Now, people are like, why did you do that? Well, because it still makes it look better. And the performance is better. Yeah, it runs a little faster. And eventually, yeah, he's going ham. I can't even BS on this one, the game. It's gorgeous. Okay, he was he was trolling. I figure. <laughs> he was trolling. Now the game is nice. Even I like it, and I, I didn't I didn't even play the first one. First one was great. It's hard to go back and play it though. You know, I had the first one for my kids. My kids played it. So when they said it was backwards compatible. Oh man, you know what? Um, Philip, you're right. That helped, yeah. It helped a lot, man. Good, good job, Philip. That helped a lot, a lot. Oh, so um, remember I told you um, I had ordered uh, Return of Wolverine, the second issue. Uh huh. They canceled my order because they didn't have enough in stock. Uh, shoot. I will check and see if I can. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, some of these shops are a little weird, man. How you cancel my order? Well, we thought we were going to have it in stock. We're returning your money because I already paid for it. Yeah, I don't like when they do the pre-order thing. They don't even know if they're getting it. Well, how? because I got it off of Amazon. Because my comic book store is like really far. I mean, if I'm at work, it's still far. But if I'm at home, it's even further. Because it's on the other side of town. Huh. You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that was on. I imagine it's, it's a shop somewhere. See, they, they know what they're getting. The only thing they can't determine is whether the books get damaged during processing from diamond. Right. Um, just like when that Wonder Woman foil cover came out, uh, my shop, I'd say 90% of them were damaged. Wow, really? 
So that cut out a lot of people's books. But the thing is, is you turn them in as damaged, and if they're still in stock, Diamond reships out new ones. So you're just getting them a couple of week or a week late. Right. Yeah, but some people are really avid about that. That week late means a lot to them. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people that go buy someplace else in the meantime. You know? But you can't do anything about it. Diamond's the only distributor. Yeah. I don't know. EDS talk about all caps coming soon. Uh, I, I'm, I'm excited for it. I wish... I wish there was a way for those guys to get their books into the paper. You still in here? Huh? Is he talking to you? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this looks a lot better now. Thanks to Phillips' uh, insight. Hmm. I think this is about as good as uh as it's gonna get for me. What time is it? It's nine fifty three. Do I wanna put some inks on this? Oof. There. I need a brush. I'm using the I'm using my go bag markers. This is the curse of being lefty. Actually, Josh, uh, uh, Scott Campbell did all the covers for the X-Men Black. Oh, really? Yeah, he did the Magneto, uh, Doggernaut, Mojo, and let's see. That's terrible. Yeah, so I got to figure out how, how I'm going to get that second uh, second return of Wolverine. I was all excited. I was super excited. And then they said no. It's all good though. Guess I'll I'll eventually find it. Take care. All right. Thanks, Rice Lee, for joining. I appreciate you, um, your support. Um, hey, before you leave, could you smash the like if you want? <laughs> the like button. And uh, but no, seriously, I appreciate you coming by, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful evening. <laughs> I got you, baby, 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 baby. I don't know how well this paper is going to take the ink. But at least got to put some ink down.
me and my uh need to start using references. I can't do Josh. Josh be drawing without references. I wanted to also know that's Josh's favorite character. I know, and that's why I chose him. I was hoping he would go easy on me. I'm gonna to try to get you that return to Wolverine, like a return of Wolverine for you. That's um, cool. I don't know if you heard me, but check your number one. Uh Right. I can't remember which printing it was, but one of them had the first page was an error page that had a, the Star Wars intro to it that wasn't supposed to be in the book. Oh, yeah? I'll have to check it out. Because I got mine from Amazon. I don't know what comic book shop it came from, but so there you go, Josh. There's the mystique. Nope. Oh, hold on. I gotta switch views. I couldn't find my mojo. Uh, like a, it's in a box somewhere from moving. That's that's hotter than the other one. Mm -hmm. And then there's his uh, juggernaut. Nice. Like I said, then there's a mojo and a magneto. Yeah, I would like the mystique and the magneto. Unfortunately, I know I can't get those. Those things sold out quick. Right. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, they could probably buy them on one, but they'll probably be like 10 bucks a piece. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. See, my thing is, I don't even want it for the for the damn comic. I just I just want it for the cover. <laughs> well, I might be nice. I got the promo posters for Mystique and Emma. Ooh, yeah. I the only I, yeah. I I'd, I'd be like, oh, give me the Emma. <laughs> I'd be like, please give me the Emma. No, not Emma. I'm sorry, Mystique. Mystique. And Mystique was sexier. Mystique was sexier. And normally I don't like Mystique. I don't I like in comics I'm, and stuff. What? I've always liked Mystique. I don't. I don't. Um, I don't. Some most of the time I think they they don't use her correctly, since she is such a really cool character. And I've always felt like they did, they just didn't do her justice. So but, and then like in the. Um, X Men Evolution cartoon series, you know she was she was a major major player in in that whole cartoon series, and uh, that's where I really started enjoying her as a character. Look at Josh opening up. There you go. There's your reference. <laughs> you know what? I don't like you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say that kind of late now, but I appreciate it. Well, that's Funko style, so that's not gonna help you, man. There you go. There's your reference. <laughs> I don't like him either. <laughs> wow, that's that. Uh, that's that Elliot Fernandez one. That's it. See now, now why why are you gonna bring a pro into the game? Why are you gonna bring a pro into the game? Well, no matter what, it's pro. You're looking at pro for reference. You know what I mean? Not necessarily. You go online and you think you're getting a pro reference, and you're just getting somebody that drew something, <laughs> but you think it's cool, so you use the reference. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, sir. <laughs> no, because you draw from your mind. No, you I really don't. You don't. You don't have my issues, my problems. No, like Black Panther, I had to go and you know look at some different poses, different artists and stuff to figure out what I wanted to do. And then uh -huh. with Colossus, you know, I just went online real quick and just looked at a whole bunch of different stuff just to remind myself, okay, what does he do? What's it? You know, muscle mass, costume wise, you know, just reminders of it all and be like, okay, cool. And then he's a really big metal guy. 
<laughs> hey man, big metal guy is my favorite metal guy. You need to hurry up with him, man. He looks like Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Oh God. <laughs> Jimmy, it's just the line. Hurry up. <laughs> I appreciate that. I was really going for that. <laughs> I was going for that for that uh for that Hitler type, Stalinish type um Colossus. Turned into Sinestro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't like you either, uh Philip. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm just picking, man. I know. Oh, and by the way, uh, I know I sent you that picture, man. I'm sending you a bunch of pre comic book day, Halloween comic book day books along with our little trade. Cool. I'll let you share those with uh, John, too, because there's probably about 25 or 30 books here. Yeah, I told Jonathan about that. And there's a, there's a few he could probably give his kids. Uh, your boy might want to get out his hands on a few of these things. I don't know if he's into comics or not. Nah, all he does is play video games. He's streaming right now, too. Well, that's... I'm starting to see a lot more uh, video game comics. Oh, yeah. I went to the comic shop and saw a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, Bloodborne seems to be real hot right now. Which is, you know, PS PlayStation game. Mm -hmm. um, Overwatch is one of the free books that I'm sending you. Cool. Yeah, I saw that. I'm, I'm pretty sure John's gonna take that one. Uh, I've collected. I have all the Wolfenstein's. Took another buddy. Had to work with all the War of Tanks. Speaking of, uh, don't don't ask how I drew this, this correlation. But speaking of Wolfenstein, have y'all seen the Castlevania uh, new season of Castlevania yet? I never saw the old one. There, there's a quick season. The episodes are like twenty four minutes. Steve said they were good. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch the se the first season. I just I, I can never get around to it whenever I'm thinking about it and. Whenever I am thinking about it, the kids are up. I'm like, yeah, you're not watching that. Yeah. It's okay. Man, that Colossus is looking good there, uh, Josh. Thank you. Y'all you got me wanting to draw. Wow, man. It is a draw stream. You can, you can open up a third channel, right, and call it Drawing with Josh and Jimmy. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's like, uh, it's whatever, man. My Hitler Colossus. I blame Josh. For Hitler Colossus? Yeah. No, sir. You can blame society. <laughs> I blame Josh. He didn't instruct me properly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man. He looks like Christopher Walken now. Got a little bit of the Jimmy haircut going on there. I told you. I wound up drawing me. <laughs> <laughs> Told y'all, man. Yeah, perfect. yeah, I wound up. I wound up mistakenly drawing me. It's the only person I know how to draw from memory. What do y'all think about uh, Rob Liefeld having a book on Indiegogo? Don't know. I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I know how Josh feels about that guy. <laughs> I made the mistake of uh, agreeing with what Josh has to say about it at the comic shop, and I got my head ripped off. Yeah, Josh is very, you know, Josh is a troublemaker. <laughs> you know, but hey. Of course, I didn't have the, the visual proofs there during my conversation, and that makes a lot of difference. Yeah, Josh has this... Uh, Hi, it's not opinion. hard. Just pull up Google. I mean, it takes 20 seconds. <laughs> it's one of the easiest Googles you could do. Uh, I, I lost a few friends over that conversation, Josh. <laughs> you, can't, you can't listen to Josh on everything. Josh is an amazing artist, but, you oh, know. I, I totally agree with Josh. <laughs> it took me that long to pull up the really bad pictures. <laughs> Josh is an amazing artist, but he will get you in trouble. <laughs> I mean, take a look. Do you know anyone's spine that does that? Ouch. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, and then, of course, the classic Captain America. Wow. That doesn't make any sense. He's too many Roy's. <laughs> and then let's take a look at here. And this amazing looking guy. And then the sword. And then the handle's crooked. Sure enough. He bent it, man. That's an excuse there. And then this guy, he just doesn't make any sense. And he's, he's he, he does it a lot of times where he copies the same image and he reuses them. A lot of, there are some other comic book artists that do it too. But, you know, it's, it's like, okay. And then Cable's gun is bent in this. <laughs> and then, like, how the hell is Deadpool fitting in this picture? <laughs> you know, if if Cable's leg's here and his foot's coming way down here, how come his foot's right here, two inches? It's just yeah. And then the, <laughs> the whole the whole concept of he doesn't like to draw draw feet. But he's really good about veins. He draws a lot of veins. Everyone's veiny. Well, you know, if he and draws enough veins, all the. Uh, the 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 of, all the packages he carries. Everyone has lot, lots of lots of carrying cases to do things with. Yeah, pouches are important for superheroes. Pouches, pouches everywhere. Pouches. And then this this uh Well you think he made pouch man, didn't you? Yeah, pouch man, yeah. Oh man, there's That's one actually that probably my favorite drawing he's ever done. Is yeah, there's one that has a really creepy baby face in it. It's like, why is there a baby face in it? For me, the big issue is the feet. Feet, yeah. He, it, oh, here you go. Yeah. So in this in this image, all their feet are itty bitty. And then like he 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 did it where he arched the world just in this one spot that we didn't have to draw a drug on its other foot. And then somehow he put Domino in here, and she's kind of floating if you actually zoom in on it. <laughs> Look, man. Bad dude. Oh, yeah, there's Pat. There, oh, shit. Damn phone closed it on me. I actually found pouch, Pouches Man. There he is. Pouches Man. Yeah, that's the best one he's done. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, I, I appreciate what he's done. Well, he's got to create cool. certain characters and stuff. Um, but. You know, there for the lo for the longest time, he was one of the highest paid uh, comic book artists. Every, you know, everyone wanted him because of, of what he what he was doing, what he was pouring out there. But you know that there was the the you know it, it, the proof is in the pudding, and the proof is in the pictures. And it's like, why why was he the highest paid? You know why? Why? Why was everyone wanting to get his stuff so bad? I'm not spouting my stuff. I'm nowhere near even his level. He's he's a great artist when he really puts his time into it. Yeah. But I think a lot of stuff he was just rushing. He's like, oh screw it, just do this and put this here, and I, I'm not even gonna look at the story. And who, who's in this cable? Uh, I don't feel like drawing cable right now. And uh, I, I just, it, I think that happens a lot in comics. Uh, you see it a lot in interiors of books. You can tell which pages were rushed. Right. Yeah. 
even in Blue Mamba, did you see the what the page I was talking about, Philip? Yeah, where they just blacked out the faces. Yeah. Just like that shadow couldn't be like that at all. No. <laughs> I was like, what happened here? Well, like the, the He-Man series that they had out there where, where DC revamped He-Man. And the first six or seven issues were just amazing. God, I love the art. And they had different artists do each one. And each one was just like, oh, just phenomenal. So happy that they revamped this, the, the He-Man character. Right. And then when that miniseries was done, and they're like, okay, cool, time to launch the He-Man series. And they launched it. And I bought issue one of that. And mm -hmm. I said, this is absolute garbage. And I didn't, even, I didn't even want to read it. There was more black on the page than was anything. And it was just smeared. And I was just like, what is this? And it just was not visually appealing. And I really wanted to get into it because, you know, they were taking He-Man in, totally, in a totally new way. They had never really been put to, put to paper or, or anything. It was just always fan fiction. And it was just, it was just garbage. Yeah, I've, I found a couple of things. Um, I just found that that book, first of all, save it for the review, Jimmy. Save it for the review. But uh, let's just say that I probably would not buy another Blue Mamba comic. I didn't think the overall art was that bad. The art, nah. I just I mean we we've seen worse. Yeah, yeah it, it wasn't the art so much. I just felt the story was I don't know. I felt some kind of way about the storyline. I don't know. I could be wrong. <laughs> what do you think, Jimmy? I think yours looks good. Mine looks like like crap. Oh come on now. Let me. I haven't. I haven't seen it yet. Let me. I'm waiting for. Uh, let me stop talking. <laughs> let me. Uh, mm -hmm. Boom. That's amazing, dude. I just clipped in on you. <laughs> People don't need to look how terrible my stuff is. Did <laughs> Philip? You don't. You didn't. You probably didn't watch the other one we did together. I didn't know the clip thing was a thing, and so mm -hmm. for the first hour of we did almost two hours. Uh, the first half of it, um, I was clipped on Jimmy's, and never went back to mine at all. And, uh, <laughs> and finally, I said that and I was like, "Oh, dude, I think I screwed up. I think I've been on Jimmy's the whole time, and <laughs> I've been on yours." And he's like, "What? No, you haven't. People don't really see that." <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined everyone's <laughs> night. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you ruined my night. No, that's what you said. Go back and watch. It. You were like, I know, I know that's, I know that's what I said. But I, you ruined my night tonight with that colossus. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time too. Huh? It's been a long time since John Colossus. Yeah. It's all good. That's what that's what we, this is all about. Just getting together. This paper is terrible about taking this ink. I didn't. I didn't have good paper. What paper are you using, bro? I I ran out of paper, so I just grabbed whatever whatever was there. <coughs> this is just like printer paper. Uh, pretty much. It is horrible about taking this ink. Whenever you whenever you buy normal paper, what size and what brand and stuff do you get? I got Bristol, and I got like all kinds of sizes. But I usually I have a small Bristol sketchbook that I use. That one right there. I wait oh, for it. To come back to you. Hold on. Yeah. See, I I don't I don't I don't deal with those little sketchbooks. But this is the one I take to work when I'm sketching right. at work, you know. No, 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 that's that's good that we can practice, you know, the stuff to practice with, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. 
that, that cartoony of you. That that was cute. My wife doesn't like it. I want to use it as my icon. No, no, not not that one. No, 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 no. Uh, I keep turning. I keep turning. You colored it. Yeah, I was practicing. Um, that one. That one. Yeah, that is adorable. Yeah, I like that. I want to use it for my uh for my for my icon, but my wife won't let me. She said yeah. I look because she said I made myself look old, but I'm like almost fifty, so I don't know how much older I can make myself look. No, dude, that <laughs> that that is awesome. I mean, that's why I did my avatar the way I did it. You know, I split the beard in half because my goatee at the time was split in half with gray and blonde. Then I did this one here at work. See that pops up. That looks like John. I know I messed up. That's why then I, I wound up doing like, that. Yeah, one. we know you was daydreaming about John at work. I like how I said it looks like John. <laughs> I know I messed up. Yeah. Yeah. It was John himself, and he drove John. Yeah. No, I messed up. I was drawing myself though. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> I like this one. This came. You out should give good. it. You should get, walk into work and give it to him. He goes, dude, I was doing a self portrait, and here you can just have it. Yeah. <laughs> what else I got in this piece of junk? Yeah, I'm liking your little sketchbook, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm not Elliot Fernandez, but uh, <laughs> let's right. see. Did that yeah. one? That's also why I keep running out of black markers. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I was trying to do something with that. I was trying to do something else with that. I was trying to do something. I did this one. I posted. Um, that one's good. I posted that one on Twitter somewhere. A little anime style going on there. Yeah, it's supposed to um, be a Starfire, but yeah, just kind of changed it. Yeah, whatever. Practicing. Um. Arms and chesticles and whatnot. Almost sent both of you all a link. Um, somebody was running a sale on artist tools, and oh, one yeah. of the things that they had for sale was the little posable figures. I got one. Well, they had them to where you could pose them in like matrix moves and stuff. Yeah, this is th look at this figure, man. Let me lock it on me. Well, I can see it. Yeah. Is that the one you can take off the hands and like change the hands? Yeah, them? yeah. This thing is possible. Feet, even the feet bend. Oh wow! This thing is. Uh, when I was trying to tell Josh the other on the last stream, let me use my little mannequin because you know, is is can do whatever, man. Look at that ankles. You could twist it any way. Hands can go any way. They were showing a male and female. Yeah, I think there's it's a, a new female. one. There, there's Doing a new a one that came out that has like <laughs> actual guns and katanas and other types of weapons too that you yeah. can plug. I in. didn't get that one. I got this one. This one These didn't. Have all that. You didn't see the joints. It was like there's a skin over it. Uh, this one doesn't have a skin, but then it's got the little stand. So if you want to put them like flying, it's got a hole in the back. Oh, I see that. And then I got a stand. Let me let me give you all a cuteness break. <laughs> I like that. You got a little stand, right? And then you could with this stand, you know, you could uh, you can have him up in the air. Oh yeah. You can make him like he's flying, so you can do. You know, it's pretty That's cool. Pretty nifty. Yeah. So he could be shooting a jump shot. Yeah, I got one of these, but I didn't, I didn't get the female one. I should have gotten it. The whole set. I'm going to do it again. Oh, man. Well, that means I have to do it again. No, I'm doing like I did with Black Panther. Look, it's better than D James Dean right here, right? So... And what I'm what I mean is that I'm I'm enjoying it too much, and I'm gonna just 
go crazy detail in pencil. <laughs> this is the character I'm working on for that story. I can't figure oh, him out. What's his name? He is the Borinkenir. That's that he was another like Captain Riker from Star Trek and that other one. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I can't. <laughs> this one, one right here. <laughs> yeah, I can try to figure out how I'm gonna draw him. That that's him. That was I don't know what I was thinking. I was messing around on that one. That's not me. That's somebody else. I like that's, the woman drawing. That was cool. This one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the guy again. Another iteration of him, but with a different custom. So I, I guess I might as well spill the beans on the character. See, And this is what I'm using for my... um. For my avatar now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I didn't know you hadn't talked about him. I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. It's me. cool. It's cool. No, 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 no. I, I've talked about him. I just haven't really said much. And I did that one. There you go, Philip. Hold on. Let me put it. <laughs> let me take it off me. Uh, That's see, nice. I made Josh jealous with comics. He's doing it back to me. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Forget Josh. We're not even gonna talk to him. No, oh, okay. So you know I'm gonna have to try to make him a trade. <laughs> then this is the a Brutus Brutus yeah. uh fan art I did. I that, thought this came out pretty good. That came out really good. You know. I like that big chin. Yeah. Then look at that. Then I call it this. I should have never called it that. Then, you know, my color blindness made Batman, uh, Superman Indian. That's pretty good. <laughs> he got infected with the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> yeah. Then I did this. Sweet. And I was doing gesture drawings. Gesture drawings. Gesture drawings. Try to do a Dr. Uh, Doom. Doom. Yeah. That didn't work out too well. This is my other character. I'm working for my other book. Then I was just messing around here. Like messing Man. around here. Messed this up all together. Then I did the Monster Hunter. Uh, behemoth. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. That was the Behemoth. So I've been practicing, Josh. You can see I've been practicing. Hey, there's nothing I'm, wrong with that. I'm liking your grayscale coloring. Yeah. Then I try to do a Doctor Strange, messed him up. I don't like his face, but I like the way his costume came out. Like you could like it I think it looked pretty good the way the costume came out. His face I jacked up. But the costume I think came out good. I don't know what I was practicing there. That's the character again, but I kind of messed him up. Just trying to work on something here. Iron Man. Oh, shit. That was like a red rooster in black and white. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just made this up. I just drew it. I don't even know what that was supposed to be. I just kind of just practiced a female. Same, my character in a different outfit that I'm trying to work on. And then that's the original concept. So it says JC code name, but engineer specialty stealth ops, wet work, small arms, computer and cyber ops. So he's just a guy, kind of like um like a spec ops dude. Cool. And this is supposed to be some kind of body armor, and kind of like body armor on the sides. And uh, so I'll tell you his story in a second, or what I'm trying to make with him. Then I try to put a mask. It didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I, uh, like a red rooster, cyber frog, kind of like uh, a little, like fan art, little fan art I did. I don't know what, what happened to my cyber frog. I dreamed too, but I don't remember. 
I know you did a good one too. And then this is supposed to be the female counterpart for the but ink and ear the character that I'm drawing. Of course, and y'all y'all saw this one already. Order uh -huh. the red rooster. <laughs> <laughs> And then I try to do a daredevil, mess them up. And then what else? Yeah, did a, this is the Colossus. I messed him up. So then I decided to try to draw him again tonight. And then this is supposed to be for Inktober. We're supposed to be uh, the word, the prompt was shocked. So I drew him getting shocked. <laughs> <laughs> try to spike his hair up. Yeah, it was okay. It was an attempt. And then this, just your drawings. Yeah. And then I'm out of paper. Oh, time to get a new book. Time to get a new book. But uh, okay, so so we'll talk about the, the the concept that I'm thinking about with the with the blink in ear. So it's just two of us. Okay, it's just the two of us now. We can talk about it. Ain't nobody gonna stay long enough to watch this whole video <laughs> so it can still remain a secret. So um, so the one story for the Ebor Inconeer is just uh, um, it, it's just a, uh, which, a tribute piece to the 65th Infantry. Uh, the, it was a Puerto Rican infantry unit that was all Puerto Rican in the Army. And uh, they were in the, in the Korean War. And so it's just a call back to that. It's just kind of like a, you know, like a tribute piece, but not in that era it's just kind of a reminder of that of that era so this is a guy that um that gets in trouble and he gets put into uh he gets court martial he gets put into jail and um so he's given the you know you know how the army the government does you know we're gonna either put you to death or you can work for us um until you die you know what i'm saying so he decides, you know, to go ahead and work for them, and they uh, they they put him up in a mission, right? And uh, like I said, he's just a regular dude. He just has body armor and uh, normal weapons. They put him on a mission. He goes to this mission. His team gets wiped out. Um, what he doesn't, what they don't know is that they're put up against uh, supernatural beings like Nephilim and you know vampires and devils and stuff like that. And the first mission was against the Nephilim, and the Nephilim just tore through the squad, left him, you know, half a dead. So he, you know, he's back into recovery mode. <coughs> he's back into recovery mode and he decides to take this, you know, this mission on. So then from then on, it's on, you know, he's just steadily going after these, these forces, but he's just a normal man. You know, he's kind of like a Frank Castle type dude. He just keeps getting into more and more in trouble the more headstrong he gets. And then they give him a handler, which was the female that I showed you to help him through it. And then it just goes from there. So it's just like a rough sketch story. And then, so that's, that's the concept behind him. And then the concept behind this other guy should be pretty simple once you see it. It's just they're just right now just ideas floating in the head. I was gonna say if you started writing a script or anything or not yet. I I should though. Start writing down. That's my son. <laughs> uh, let me see. Where's the guy at? Let's see. No, I had a minute ago. All right. So this dude. I'm waiting for it to catch up. <laughs> there you go. So that dude is actually just Samson. Like the bi the biblical Samson. Uh -huh. And uh, so this story, this story is a little bit more thought out. So um, what happened with this character, what happened in this story is that... Um, that the rapture already happened. 
and uh so the world is overrun you know and it's pretty much like hell on earth and there's people that are left over that still believe in in god and the bible but of course they're being persecuted and um bibles are being burnt so the stories are being handed down you know for, by about from mouth to you know by word of mouth from generation to generation and uh there's this little girl who I've given her, who I've not given a name to yet. I'm just gonna call her Eve. For now. And uh, her grandfather, and her grandfather's telling her the story of Samson back in the days. Uh, you know how they used to be, how they used to be judges. You know to carry out the, the word and whatnot. And so she starts saying to her grandfather, you know, well, we're gonna have judges in this in this time as well. And what and so she starts, you know, praying and whatnot. And um, so God hears her prayer and he decides to have mercy on the world one more time. And he uh takes he sends the archangel Michael back in time to this place, to this specific time where Samson was gonna it was destroying the um the temple or whatever and right before everything fell down to destroy him the archangel michael grabs him and places him in that future world so then you have um the girl sees him walking around because he's still blinded because that was right you know it was as it happened so he's still blind so the girl sees a blind man in the street and she's like, you know, if I don't get him inside the house, you know, they, they, he's going to die because, you know, the world has gotten so bad that there's just demons and whatever just running around mm -hmm. tearing people up. So she grabs his hand. She doesn't know who he is and takes him to the house with her grandfather. And her grandfather's like, why did you bring him here? You know, if they find out, they're going to come into the house. They're going to tear it up. You, know, you put us in grave danger. And um, so... No sooner does he say that, you know, the, the front door gets kicked in and then a big fight happens, you know, because they go after Samson, but Samson can still fight. He's still strong. And he's uh, he realizes now that even though he doesn't have his eyes, he has abilities, not as not as heightened as like Daredevil, but he he can feel where they're at. Like he, he can feel them coming at him so he can kind of fend them off and attack back. So during the battle. The grandfather dies because he gets involved trying to protect his granddaughter. <coughs> so after that battle is over, Eve and Samson, you know, Samson feels like he needs to protect Eve and Eve feels like she needs to protect Samson because she still thinks that she, he can't really see or fend for himself. And uh, so they start the story there, you know, like they, they now become a team and they go towards the next village. And the whole thing starts all over again. And the reason why these uh, evil entities can find him is because he's sent from above. So his presence is causing a shift in the world. And uh, so they don't want that to happen. So they keep sending, you know, they, they, can't, they can easily find him. They're like, okay, we're going to send. We're going to keep sending in until we can destroy him. But what they don't know is that the Archangel Michael is also there. And he's kind of looking over all both Samson and Eve. So it's like a three-dimensional battle. So you got the physical and the spiritual battle going on. And um, and that's it. He's he's just gonna go down like kind of like a David Carradine Kung Fu movie. He'll go in from town to town cleaning house. <coughs> and we'll see what happens from there. So it's Kung Fu with Samson? Yeah, it's Kung Fu with Samson and Daredevil all mixed in. <laughs> Basically, and those are the two stories I, I got in my head. I like the Samson and Eve one. Yeah, there you go. I'm liking that one too. That's why I'm. I got that one more developed. But that's the that's the thing. I don't know. What do y'all think? I like it. It's it's different than your normal uh, superhero story. Yeah, it's got some, you know, some stuff in it, but <clears throat> it is what it is. And it sounds really good. Of... I'm... Go ahead. You ever heard of the Marvel comic book called Illuminator? 
No. Nah. Look it up. You want me to look it up now? Yep. Because if you tell me that's the same story, I don't care. I'm still writing it. <laughs> Hold on. Josh likes to crush dreams. I don't care what Josh has to say, to be honest with you. Other no. than my <laughs> it's the proof of point that Marvel that, Marvel Comics kind of did some Christian comics. Oh, yeah. The Illuminator. Marvel. Okay, hold on. They uh, got the St. Francis comic book, and there's a... Uh, uh, the one about the Pope and uh... Illuminator Volume One. Oh wow, that's really different. Uh, synops synopsis for Genesis notes, trivia, recommended reading. All right, cool. Mm hmm. It's very nice, but it's very different than what I'm doing. It is. I'm just, you know, it, growing up, you know, my my parents were against me doing comic books and stuff, but yeah, you know, they found that, and so they let me have that series. You know, I, I had most of them for a while. It, it was just, it was just different. It was just neat. Yeah, definitely, and that's what I'm trying to do with mine. You know, um, it might not be an adult type um, comic book, but maybe you know something that. Parents be like, okay, you know, you, you might be able to read this one, you know. They also did, um, and if you look, if I can get, come up, the Pilgrim's Progress. Pilgrim's Progress. Marvel did it as well. Yep. Look at look at my screen, and all four of these are. Well, I think three of them are Marvel. Hold on, buddy. Let me get back. I don't over know here. if that's big enough for y'all or not. I can't. Yeah, that's tell. good. That's big enough. See there on the left, the four yeah. comic books. Another tree of Bob, Calcutta. I don't know about the Soldier of God one, but yeah, the other three are Marvel for sure. But that one on the bottom left, I don't know. Hmm. Well. They did this, and I found it, and I read this over and over and over and over to the point I had it memorized. <laughs> and I went to a, a Christian uh, high school for my twelfth grade year. I went to a, a private school that I had attended before, but then I I had issues in, in school, and I just was falling behind. And so I got homeschooled because I just couldn't keep up with the the way learning was done. I couldn't do it. Uh, I was really, real slow. With, Are you on the spectrum, man? With that. So, but for my senior year, I only technically needed English. I was done with everything. Right. So, um, I ended up going with with a few other classes, and in my English class, we uh, we did a we did a book study on the Pilgrim's Progress. Right. I got in trouble because I would draw. <laughs> on the on the desk, I never I never would open up the book. I just drew on the desk, because and with with with, uh, with ballpoint ink, <laughs> it would wipe off with Windex, and I proved it. They they would get upset for about ten seconds, and you know then I was like, look, squeak squeak, gone. And uh, so the, the teacher though looks at my looks at it. She's like, I can't believe you're not listening to this. You know what are your grades? I said, "Well, you're the teacher. What are my grades?" Such a and smart butt. He looked it up, and I had ninety six to one hundred and ten because I get the bonus question for this particular book. And uh, they're like, "Well, she's like, well, are you reading it along with us and anything?" I'm like, "No," because <laughs> <laughs> I already knew it back and forwards from Marvel Comics because Marvel Comics literally took it as it was written and just drew pictures. That's a smart way to do it. And so yeah, I that loved I loved doing that to her. She's like, well does does that come off the table? I'm like, yeah. She goes, well then carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this paper's not doesn't take ink well man. And that's that's gonna be bad.
Yeah, it's gonna be bad. Bad for the health. What you can also do too, as as well, instead of rushing straight into inks, just I, I just did that just because, huh? I just did that because I I'm, I was like, oh, people can't really see what I'm doing. We can see it. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do that. And this paper doesn't think ink well. I could have I could have done a million and one things, but. So both of your all streams are really clear and you can see all the detail. Nice. That's good. It's not really that good for me, but that's good. <laughs> I can almost read the lettering on your pins. Really? Yeah. How about now? Well, now it's got a huge glare. It didn't work. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, and this is the rest of the kit for the uh, for the doll. Oh, for the figure. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm looking for something specifically. Oh wow, what is this? Yeah, I can totally see that it says Micron Zero One. <laughs> That's good. That's good though. I mean, I, I mean, I I'm glad y'all can see that, and uh, the stream's clear, clear, clear. What is the one that says Presto on it? Oh, that's a whiteout pen. Oh, okay. Yeah, like if uh, let's say we didn't like this because you said it made it look like Hitler, so I just. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> I could just go in and just boom, spot white out. Oh. And then boom, that's done. That's, that's pretty done. cool. Yeah, I learned that from Jim Lee. <laughs> 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 What's I was watching a Jim Lee Street. Someone told me to watch Jim Lee Street. Some guy named uh, Josh. <laughs> he was like, yo, you should really watch the Jim Lee stream, Jimmy. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll watch it. Just for you, Josh. And then I watched it. And I was like, whoa, that's so amazing. And you know, because this drawing is just trash, you know I'm about to mess it up even more. You know, because that's how I do. That's how I do. When I feel something is trash. I think we could convert him into Lobo or. <laughs> Strong as trash, man. It's trash. No, it's not. Positive, man. Positive. I don't mind, dude. Look. That one uh, poison ivy that I drew, mm -hmm. that thing took me forever, dude. And I still hated it. I would say most artists don't like their own work. I was like, man, this is garbage. But then they posted it on the Twitter. I sent I sent it to Josh. And it looked better. But I think it looked better because the person was really happy to receive it. That's what matters. And then I didn't feel so bad anymore. I'm like, all right. I feel better now. I feel better. I've still been up in the air whether I'm going to be sending your group back to you or not. Yeah, you can it keep might... that group, man. It might be worth something someday. Yeah. Well, I've kind of found a place for him on the wall. You know? I mean, I know it's bad memories for you. 
No, but it's it's from you. That's what counts. You know, but maybe someday it might be worth something. If Josh doesn't draw a group, it might be worth something. Then if Josh draws, a group, <laughs> then I'm done. I believe I have seen a Josh group. He drew some bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> did, did he put it up? Mm-hmm. Little bastard. I hadn't seen it with the background. It was black and white when I saw it. Yeah, he, he drew. I don't like Josh sometimes. He says Dr. Doom. No, I... I don't like Josh. We're gonna lock on his screen though because I don't like him, but he does good stuff. So, that is, I love this Doctor Doom. Oh, oh wow, that is super clear. Yeah. Oh, you put it in plastic. You know what? I found out that um, when you put him in plastic, it looks so much better. Uh, mylar will make him really pop. I was like, whoa. And As a matter of fact. The Jita. I don't think I've seen any of these, Josh. Because Josh be holding out on you, bro. Ooh, I know. Damn, it's probably a good thing. Right? I'd probably be broke. Venom. <laughs> Josh be holding out on you, bro. Backcrawler. Oh, he's, he's killing me with the Venture Brothers. <laughs> this is oh, so I like Bubblebee. You like Bubblebee? Yeah. <laughs> Bumblebee and then Star Are you Star excited for his new movie? I am. I am ecstatic for that movie. It looks good. Oh yeah, this oh. paper is bad. Well, I'll tell you what though, the the, the, the director of it uh -huh. is like a nobody. He's done like one other movie. And to me it looks like he actually spent time and said, "Well, let's go into the lore of it." Cuz if you see the trailer of it, they actually have the G1 costumes. Mhm. Mm and I'm just ecstatic to see that, man. Uh, old Mega Man's. Uh -huh. Gizmo Duck. Yeah, Gizmo. The new Gizmo Duck. And the ones that a whole Ooh. bunch of parents don't like. Why? Uh, they don't like seeing uh, heroes falling or getting hurt or violence. Oh. I loved the Doc Ock one. It was really good. Deadpool's pretty sweet, too. Lobo. Yeah, I like I the Lobo. Frank, I like that Frank Castle, though. That's an old one. I need a redoing. Josh is, always, Josh is always like, oh, that's an old one. I need to redo him. I need to redo it. These are these are old ones. I mean, and these these are this one's a new one. From yeah, Avatar: The Last Airbender. I've been working with Josh long enough to I can actually tell which ones are old and not. <laughs> That's a whole one. Nobody old, likes that. Oh, old Wolverine. Yeah, that will, that will it kind of looks nice. like the, the cover you did for me. Almost, yeah. It's probably he probably light boxed it. There you go. Jimmy. There you go, Jimmy. Great doing great time. Oh. That nice. is really good. I really wanted to draw him and I watched all the episodes in one night and I kept drawing and drawing and drawing. I was like, I'm never gonna get this character. I really want to draw him really bad. And then this finally happened. Dude, like, oh, his, his hair is so awesome. It was this part was the hardest part. Was the nose? I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't that's get that's a nose. really defining point for him. So yes, it is. I could not get it for the longest time. I mean, that was top notch, man. Oh, that turtle is pretty pretty hot too. I ran out of colors, like all those colors you see in the, in here. Mm -hmm. I ran out, so I wasn't able to ever finish it. No, this is my old turtle, man. I'll have to get my bigger stuff to show you my my newer turtles.
Nick and Josh. Is, is this a book that you have sitting out on your table when you're at a con? Or yeah, this is my color. This is mostly my colors that I have. I got a color Blanca that oh, I did, yeah. and then he'll actually get moved to the front because he's a he's a newer piece. But because he's not colored, I keep him in the back. Um, but I plan on coloring him, and then the rest of this should actually be blank, and all those other pieces that I've been showing for a while they're going to get put into here and and fully colored before my next show and then i've got i got sunshine on know. a cloudy so day my piece but something got okay it just shoo all right when it's cold it outside up. almost messed up my glasses <laughs> um and then I've got my black and whites that I don't intend on coloring. Ooh, the hell boy. I like both of those right there. But... And this guy's from this Inktober. Yeah, Vindicator. Yeah. I'm going back to my old from two uh, Inktobers ago. That was really good, too. And then... New Inktober, old Inktober. Wow. The one on the left, they've uh, recently released a comic book that's real similar to that. Dark Side? Yeah, that almost that same picture. Wow. Yeah, this is old. <laughs> no, it's not It's not exact same, but it's, it's close. Um, Yay. One art. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, Josh, mm -hmm. the Injustice book with Superman, where you fight a He-Man fight Superman. Oh, yeah. The art in that is really good. Oh yeah, uh, we I did uh, a really good job on it. We we picked up a, we picked up. I don't know what I did with it, but I picked up a variant cover of it, um, and I I can't find it. I'm like, Dad, I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like Josh. Why? What did I do? He's just saying that so the camera goes back to him. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I locked it on Josh. <laughs> Not on I my screen. I'm watching the Hangout. So, <laughs> this is Mumra from two years ago. I One. locked it on Josh, man. And then Mumra this year. Yeah, I like this year's. A lot more detail. And then we got Mumra Day of Living. And I decided to revisit. Did you, did you do Snark? <laughs> oh, he's up here. Okay, he's up here. I so hope to God he's up here. There he is. Oh, nice. Tilt him. There we go. Oh, yeah, this paper's falling apart. Ah. This is some older stuff. Real older stuff. Oh, I like Mojo. <laughs> And then the one I put that for the contest. Yeah, I remember that. Is it Squirrel Girl or? Yeah, it's Squirrel Girl. Kind of reminded me of uh, Scarlet from GI Joe. There. It kind of, yeah. And Trigon, Thanos, old Batman, Meowth. Is that Carmen San Diego? It is Carmen San Diego. I don't even know why Josh does that. <laughs> what? 
draw Carmen San Diego. I can't even pronounce her name. <laughs> I didn't leave nothing else for you to draw. I, I don't matter what I draw. But now that you mention it, since I was since I messed this drawing up, I want to well put a little color in it. But the paper's not holding it well. It's not good paper. It allows me to practice a little bit. But but just just not to be outdone. I got a question for you, Jimmy. Yo. There's what nothing. artists are you into? And, you know, I don't watch anybody, to be honest with you. I mean, I watch Jim Lee and Todd Knock whenever I can, but I'm not really paying attention to anybody. Um, I mean, dude. That's a terrible Wolverine. Either but, do y'all like like Alex Ross or. No. Nah. I know, I know, like, I know Josh likes Scott Campbell. So I did this, that little bat. This is Tom one of my Nutt, Jim ones. Lee, Scott Campbell, Alex Ross, Humberto. I love Humberto. Oh my Can god! Can you say Humberto? <laughs> I like the Harley. That that. That's a cute Harley. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know a lot of people are really into uh, Matina right now. Who? Matina. Francisco Matina. No, mm -hmm. no, no. From my understanding, he's a art student of Alex Ross. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, he, art germ. I love art germ. Oh my god. Yeah, I love art germ too. And I got this guy. Yeah, I like your spawn. I did that on black paper. That was pretty, pretty intense. And uh, John I likes really this like, one. I really like your black paper stuff. That's a, a style you don't see too often. John like this one. This is my domino. <laughs> John was John was in love with that one. It's pretty cool. Then this uh, concept that I'm working on for something. Then I try to draw a blade. <laughs> try to draw a blade. Then I try to. <laughs> then I try to draw a uh, uh, shades. Oh, then this one I sold. And try to do it. That shot. Then I was doing that the fan art for Red Rooster, trying to get see if, if I could win, get in the thing. I like this one. Yeah, I like that one too. That was on the Fourth of July. So then this was a, I was playing around with. I'm Red Rooster, y'all, like from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's another one of my groups. Luke Cage. John asked me to draw that. My wife asked me to draw this. That's really good. The the rose. You did really good on the lighting there. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I like the rose. Thanks. I actually used a real rose as a reference. <laughs> like I sat down and looked at a real rose, not a picture, but a real rose. That was a still pic. That's a still life. In comic book good. format. Me playing around with Spawn, another red rooster that I did. Messing around. Another red rooster I did. I think that's it. I would put the Groot in here, but he doesn't fit. <laughs> See, I've, I've got, I got more stuff, but they're in, uh, in the other room. I need to get a bigger book. See, my Groot don't fit. So oh, the Groot looks good behind paper, behind plastic. It looks amazing. I didn't want to. I just didn't want to be outdone by Josh, man. Whatever. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I'm just messing with you, man. I'm just messing with you, brother. I'm just messing with you. I know it's not a contest. But I'm just saying that I am. I have a book too, man. I'm, I'm trying to build my stock. <laughs> I'm trying to build my stock, man. Okay, I'm gonna take it off of me, put it back on everybody.
because you know why keep it on me don't ask me why I'm making it green okay it's his day off so what now this is his day off yeah That don't look like the brush part. Which I now I'm thinking about his day off. I have a comic book that's basically it's a little poster book by Marvel. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a swimsuit edition. Oh you know? yeah, from back and, in the nineties. Yeah, from back in the nineties. Uh, the comic shop owner found it in the back and he laughed and just handed to me. He said, you can have it. <laughs> so I was wow. glad to take it home. And then when I got home and I start looking through it, I start chuckling too, because it is crazy nineties time period. Doesn't it also have like, there's like a couple of like one with Punisher and a speedo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're all on the beach. Right, right, right. I mean, but some of them you're like, ooh. You know, a lot of them you're like, oh, hot chick. Okay, yeah, look at that Psylocke, you know. And, and also these oh, yeah. Frank, <laughs> Frank Castle and a uh, Speedo, and you're like, ooh. Wah, wah. It happens, man. <laughs> you and Frank got to hang, got to gotta let loose every so often. Right. Yeah, it's like Andrew Dice Clay running around in Speedos. Man, that's definitely not a good sight. <laughs> yeah, this paper does not take these markers well. Didn't take the ink well. I think there's also an image with Jean Grey and, and Scott together. Yeah, I'd actually show you if I hadn't already unplugged my camera. No, you're fine. But yes, you are correct. Uh, I think it's about 30 pages. And if I remember right, it's like it's a magazine format, not yeah. a comic. Wow, this paper is really bad. It's coming apart. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. No, but I can tell it's not holding the ink very well. No, nah, it's not. It's all good, though. But anyway... There he is. Yeah, you, need, uh, you need to make sure you go out and get some, some paper. Yeah, I'm going to get some paper. I just uh, I realized, and I almost did, didn't do it um, traditional. I almost went and, and went back to digital. But then I was like, no, nah, I want to draw traditional today, you know. And um, so I just, you know, just having fun, dude. Just having fun. Yeah, Josh, I'd love to see you do uh, a video on uh, coloring digital. There you go. You heard the man. Take, it would take me hours, days. I am so bad at how I do it. That's because you don't have what I got. If you came over here and used mine, you'd be like, boop, boop, boop. No, I, that's why I want to watch Josh because... I want to know how to use Photoshop better. I mean, at the beginning of this, you saw me working with GIMP, and I was having a little bit of trouble, yeah. um, which it's a Photoshop clone. Yeah. I don't know. If, I, if, if this was better paper, look at this. Listen to this. This is better paper. This is, Listen to the difference. See how thick that is? This is Bristol. The, this right here is Bristol, and this is whatever. Paper. <laughs> it's crap. It doesn't mean Paper. anything. <laughs> my my drawing would have still been bad regardless, but at least at least the coloring might have helped it a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, I like that he has eyes now. Yeah. 
But I saw a picture of uh at the Colossus from Wolf, from Deadpool 2, and that's what I was trying to fashion them after. And the picture that I saw, he had like little discs. He had like pupils and whatnot, but you know. It'll work out. I That's like it though. That, I never paid attention on him as his ears. <laughs> yeah, he's got a stud now. He's got a black diamond. Never thought about him having metal ears. He's got a black diamond. Come on, pen work. Metal everything. Love him. One of my favorites. I didn't like how the Marvel, um, the Ultimate series did him, though. Wow, this paper is really bad. This paper is horrible. It takes pencil good. I should have just did a pencil. Did you ever read the Ultimate series of the X-Men? Uh, not me. Philip? No. I read some of the Ultimate Spider-Man, but not... X Men and the ultimate X Men, they brought Colossus in at the very beginning, so it was um, a different a different team. So it had uh, Gene, um, Iceman, Colossus, Cyclops, and then eventually they got Shadowcat, and at some point they got Storm, but she was kind of a younger Storm, and then but the Colossus was extremely strong like could pick up the sentinels and just do anything he could crush coal and make a diamond <laughs> oh wow um, well you come to find out he's juicing all right this is the paper that you do not want to buy this is what <laughs> i <laughs> never seen that well, uh, now you know never to use it. It says it's heavyweight. <laughs> but you saw how, how it tore up, and it didn't take the ink well. It did not take the ink well. Yeah, but it turns out Colossus is juicing on a version of, like, mutant steroids. And it, the steroids were produced by... Apparently, Charles Xavier doing experiments on Wolverine back in the day with his DNA. Oh. Yep. And you like Alpha Flight, right? Yeah. The Alpha Flight in the uh, Ultimate Series, uh, Colossus worked with them at one point in the, in the past with them. And they all juiced. And they like would kick the X Men's ass, and <laughs> like Sasquatch, uh -huh. he wasn't that he wasn't that big unless he took the juice. I don't know, but that colossus is looking pretty good there. So there was like there was a, like a come to Jesus time, the colossus had to make a choice to help us wait or keep juicing, and uh, he ended up. Having the, the, the in a sense, almost rehab to get rid of the juice. Hmm. Wow. Say no to drugs, ladies and gentlemen. And there's a story arc where Colossus um, had to sacrifice himself to stop some horrible disease that was going to pretty much ruin mutant kind and he had to he stabbed it into himself to let them uh to kill the virus off all right what kind of needle did they use to stab him with oh well he he's not metal all the time oh, that's true i forgot about that little detail yeah the only time he was metal all the time was in the uh, age of apocalypse he couldn't he couldn't de uh, he couldn't de-metal. 
in that series, he was kind of like a, a hulkish. And he wore a bandana on his head. <laughs> kind of like a Ninja Turtle. Kind of like a Ninja That's why you like him. No, I love him just because of the, the drive of the character that he is. He's family oriented. Um, I didn't. I didn't. Also, the other part in the the Ultimate series was that they they changed his character and made him made him gay, and that was kind of a, a weird point for me. I, I finally got over it because I was like, you know, it's it's just this series because you know I, I didn't I, I didn't like that they changed changed him, right? Um, and he had a thing for Wolverine, which was comical. And Wolverine had, did not have a thing <laughs> back for him. Um, but then he finally he started wanting to have a relationship with uh, uh, Nightcrawler. Yeah, that's right. more strange. And uh, I don't remember if anything became of that, um, but I think it did for some reason. Yeah. Europeans. Kurt Wagner. They're more liberal. Let's see. Well, guys, I think I'm going to sign on out. Me too, it's starting brother. To get, it's starting to nod off a little bit. Yeah, I'm about to call it a day myself. Yeah, it's a, oh, yeah, it's 11.15. Yeah. yeah, no, you're having way too much fun. And I realize this paper doesn't take ink or color well. I still like it. Oh, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, man. I'm going to call it a night. I don't yeah. think anybody stays on the stream this long. But if they do, thank you all for joining. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next time.